In this video, we're going to look at another one of nature's tricks for configuring a muscle to effectively help it become stronger. But the trick here that nature is doing is that it's making a muscle stronger without making it any bigger. And that is through what we refer to in biomechanics as the penation angle. So we, if we look back here at all of our different muscle types, and in particular the rectus femoris and the deltoid, you can see the rectus femoris is described as being bipennate, whereas the deltoid is referred to as being multipennate. Basically what this means is that the rectus femoris could be divided into two, hence the bi prefix, and the pennate means that those two sections have muscle fascicles and fibers that are at two different angles to one another. And so as you may guess, the multipennate therefore means that we've got multiple sections within the deltoid and each of those sections have multiple angles of fibers. This helps the muscle to produce force in, in different directions and to help with stability. And it's important, particularly for a muscle like the deltoid that produces so many different types of shoulder motion. But as I said before, the other trick that it, it, it has that penation does for the muscle is that it makes it stronger. And really it's based around this concept of having fascicles in parallel, just like we discussed or we looked at in the previous video. So remember fibers in parallel uh, refer to fibers or fascicles that are side by side. And they increase the force that a muscle can produce. So I've made two little example diagrams here of this is example diagram one and example diagram two. And I'd like you to imagine that this is just a snapshot of two different muscles. And the square shape here is exactly the same size. So we've got the same sized image of two different muscles. And hopefully you can see here that the fibers in, uh, in shape in muscle number one are relatively straight going from the left to the right, whereas the fibers in shape number two here are on this diagonal angle pointing down. So we've got a straight direction here and a diagonal angle here. So we'd refer to muscle two here as being pennate or having a pennation angle. And the reason pennation angle is used is if we consider this here to be the musculotendinous junction, so the bit to where the muscle connects to tendon, and you've got the tendon coming off of the muscle tendon junction here and connecting to a bone, you can see here that the direction of force, this diagonal direction of force that the fibers can pull within is not the actual direction of force that the muscle itself would pull within. So whereas the fibers are pulling diagonally, the whole muscle itself would pull from left to right. So that creates some inefficiency. You're getting muscle force that is being pulled in a direction that doesn't really produce any movement. But remember, this trick is that it makes the muscle stronger. And it does this by putting more fibers in parallel to one another. So if we look at the fibers here, in diagram one, we've got effectively six muscle fibers up and down here running side by side. But then if we look at the cross section, the number of fibers across muscle two here, we end up with nine muscle fibers in parallel with one another. So by tilting the muscle fibers slightly on an angle to one another, or to the line of force, we're able to get more muscle fibers in parallel, and that equals more force. Even though it's a little bit inefficient, the trade-off of having a little bit of inefficiency is overcome by having more fibers in parallel, more units producing the force. But remember, one thing that more fibers in parallel does is it does nothing for speed. And hopefully you can appreciate here that particularly these muscles here, or sorry, these fibers here at the end of the cross section are quite short. And so this penation effectively can take out some of the speed of contraction, the contraction range of the muscle. But given muscles are there to produce force, 
and um, having more force capacity within a muscle is really advantageous for so many movements. This, uh, this little trick of producing panation within a muscle is really common across the entire body.